<laughs> what you That's doing, babe? One more lesson is. before bed. <laughs> do hast hunger? No question. Oh, hast do. Ah. <laughs> you sound awesome. Thanks, Habe babe. Ein <laughs> You're welcome. Come on, fun. Camera anfang. Camera go. Können wir anfangen? Können wir anfangen? Uh, also ja. Yeah. Also ja. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Servus and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Feli. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but I've been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio since 2016, which is where I met my boyfriend, Ben. Hello, guys. If you want to learn more about him, just check out the playlist up here. I've added all the videos he's been in so far to that playlist, and I'll also add the ones that are going to follow. Now, if you watched the big boyfriend reveal video, you do know that we did promise you a big Q&A video with all the questions you guys had for us, and that will come. We've actually already recorded that. But today, we'll be addressing one question in particular that came up a lot, and that was, does Ben speak any German? Short answer, <laughs> very little. Long answer? <laughs> mm, very little, but a few words sprinkled in. Yeah. Here and there. I can get by. I mean, kind of. if I, I had feel like to, that's almost a little like high. Like, yeah, which, high praise. Hey, yeah, high, high praise. praise. Yeah. But like, I could like do words enough to get yeah. by or just... Ich spreche English. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or like, sprechen Sie English. I mean, the good thing about you, I feel like we said that in the in the other, in the Q&A video that's going to come, um, is that you have a really good feeling for the language because you've been yeah. around it so much. So like whenever you were in Germany, you were around it. And of course, just like with me, you're kind of immersed into it a lot more than any other American would be in like oh, their yeah. normal lives because you just hear me speak German to German speaking friends on the phone like all those kinds of things or like I listen to German podcasts like all the time. Oh, yeah. So you actually have a really good feeling as to where a word ends and like where the next one starts even though you don't know the words. Yeah. You just yeah, like 100%. Kind of picked up on it. Yeah but that's also something that I picked up on since I met you yeah. because as you said I have a reason to. I'm I'm just exposed to the language yeah. more than I ever have been. Yeah. I'm exposed now more to German than I have been any other language. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> even Spanish. Even which Spanish. Is like very prevalent yeah. in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, overall, um, to get back to the question, like you're definitely a beginner, I would say. Yes. And you have taken a few classes of like an online German class before, and then you have played around with language learning apps here and there. Yeah. But nothing really where you like ever fully followed through. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I haven't been like strict or studious yeah. with it. So. so maybe let's get like kind of the status quo. How much German do you speak? What can you say in German? Okay, <laughs> start from the top. Uh, guten, guten Tag, Obviously. guten Nacht. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ich bin Ben. Mm -hmm. um, ich komme aus Cincinnati or mm -hmm. ich komme aus Kentucky. Sehr gut. Yes, I'm going to okay. be more specific than that. Yeah. Um, um, sprechen, oh. sprechen Sie English? Nein, tut okay. mir leid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just responding. Yeah, it caught me off um, guard. Wie geht's? Ich bin gut. Just good. <laughs> or mir geht's gut. M mir geht's gut. Okay, right. I think you guys can tell. Yeah. There's some basics there. You can say some crazy things though, like, uh, I'm sick, I'm tired, like... Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> ich bin krank and uh, ich bin... Uh, Müde. Müde. Yeah. Müde. Yeah, I love that one. Müde. <laughs> but uh, there is definitely a lot of work. So there's a lot of room for improvement. And that's actually what we're going to change today because today is going to be the first day of Ben's three month German learning challenge. And to hold him accountable and also to share his progress with you guys, we're going to document it on camera. So you guys get to see his progress and maybe you can find some inspiration for your own language learning journey. Maybe pick some advice from like things or like, you know, mistakes that he's running into or things that he's experiencing, but also uh, share your tips with him if you have any, if you've recently learned a language or have learned German before. Also, I'm going to need your help later in the video, but we'll get to that. First, let's talk about how you're going to learn German. Those of you who follow me on Instagram, Facebook or TikTok probably already know about this because there is a brand new language learning app called Clio that just came out and it's a total game changer in comparison to previous language learning apps because this one isn't just filling in gaps and repeating vocab, it's actually video based. So it almost feels like you're talking to an actual person that reacts to what you say, so it's interactive. And you? Möchtest du Wasser 
oder Kaffee? Would you like water or coffee? Ich möchte Kaffee. Sehr gut. <lacht> Bitte schön. You go, take it. <lacht> Danke. And, surprise, one of the people in the German program is actually me. So for all of you who have been asking me for years if there is a way to learn German with me, I don't have time for private tutoring, unfortunately, but now you can learn German with me on Cleo. But if you're like Ben and you have enough of me sometimes, there's also a lot of other amazing people in the German version as well. I actually met them all last year when we shot this together. It was such a cool experience because the founder of Cleo, Mitch Yo is actually from the Cincinnati area herself and when her husband was trying to learn Italian a few years ago they realized that while language learning apps are flexible and a great way to include language learning into your everyday life they're just lacking the personal interaction. So she decided to fix that and created Clio where the best of both worlds comes together so it's not just vocab and grammar exercises but instead we, so the characters on the app, actually invite you into our homes and practice the language with you in real life situations and also teach you about our culture. So, are you ready to start your language learning challenge? Yes, it's <laughs> okay. been time. <laughs> okay, so I know that you've already done the first like lessons, I actually think the first like two or three yeah. on, on Clio, but let's just do that again just to show them and also I want to see how you're doing. Yeah. Also, I need to practice anyway, so. Yeah. Can't hurt. Do you recognize that? Yes, that is me. <laughs> Been there twice. Yep. The right house. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Good job. Come on in. I'm so glad that you're here to visit. Hello. Guten Tag. <laughs> And we're so excited to That's help so you learn yeah. German. How fitting. Ich means I. And the letters C-H ich. make a sh sound. Ich. Give it a try. Ich. Ich bin. Wow. You sound great. You can use Ich bin to introduce yourself. I am Miriam. Ich bin Miriam. Und du? What's your name? Ich bin Ben. That's it. <laughs> ich bin. It's your favorite sentence. It's your my favorite one. <laughs> oh. It's really cool. They're like walking through the house Hello. with you. Yeah. Come meet everyone. <laughs> Who's that? Hey. Hey. <laughs> this is really trippy right Fili. now. Und du? Hallo, Fili. Ich bin Ben. Freut mich. Nice to meet you. I'm excited to help you learn more German. Another thing you can do with Ich bin is to say where you're from. In this case, just add aus, okay, meaning actually, from. Screw this next one aus. up so that we can show them. I am from München. Ich bin aus München. Und ich bin aus Kochen. Und ich bin aus Bad Tölz. Now try saying where you're from. Ich bin aus... Kentucky? I said bean. Ich bin aus... Okay, good. I wanted you to screw it up. Okay. Yeah. Remember to include aus. Ich bin aus Kentucky. Ah, sehr interessant. I wanted to show them that good it's not always that. just going to be like, oh, you're perfect. Yeah. You're on your way. You worked hard to get up and speaking right away, which is a key to learning fast. Now you can use ich bin I could watch this to share information in German infos about yourself. We can't wait to hear more. In the vocabulary section, you'll see even more topics you can cover with Ich bin. Then we'll come back and practice. Bis zum nächsten Mal. See you next time. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Also trippy, but I'm going to get used to that. Awesome. So now that you've done the first lesson for the second time, um, What's your, and I know you've also done the second lesson already, so what's your first impressions off the app? Number one, I like how personal it is yeah. because I, I like the video aspect to it because you feel like you're brought into someone's home mm -hmm. and instead of feeling like, like you're at a tutor or you're working on some like schoolwork or something like that, it's almost like you were there learning it mm -hmm. with these people. It's almost, it's personal yeah. with it. Yeah. And I like, I like that you can do that anywhere. Yeah. You can be in the airport, you can be 
15 minutes before you go to bed. You yeah. can do it on your lunch break. It actually works really well too, because like the first time that I ever tried the app, I was in a coffee shop and it was pretty loud around us and it still worked. So like the technology behind it is pretty good. It's not like, because I've, I've done that with some other language learning apps where like if there was just like a minor background noise, it wouldn't like recognize your speech. But this one's actually pretty good about it. Yeah, that's what my number two point was, yeah. is that while other language apps listen to you and tell you that you might not be pronouncing something right, the thing with Clio is that I really like because I have a tendency to mumble, is that it tells you which part of which word or which word you're saying in specific mm -hmm. wrong in yeah. that sentence. Yeah. And I don't I don't want to carry that mumble over into a second <laughs> language like German where yeah. everything is enunciated. Yeah. Number three, the big thing that I like about it is how organized it is. Mm -hmm. And also that you can go at your own pace. I know that other language apps, you can go at your own pace, but it seems like this one, it pulls you in while you're doing it and it, it it doesn't seem like a chore or mm -hmm. like a lesson. It's actually fun to watch. They're yeah. taking you through it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not like, oh, great, I have to match this word with that word. And yeah. There is lessons like that yeah. in there, but there's the respites of video. Yeah, let's show them real quick what the app looks like. Okay, so it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it starts out with a video. That's the concept. That's what we just did. Yeah, that's what yeah. we just did. And then the vocabulary and then the drill, which is also a video, and the deep dive, which is another video. The first one is with you. Yeah. And there's a so whole... So it'll just basically more practicing that same concept that you learned in the first video with like more, like they'll teach you more ways to use Ich Bin, etc. So yeah. that's yeah. kind of how it works. And in each module, there's so many different yeah. ones. Like a lot of elements there. Yeah. And if I just scroll down here, there's 32 different modules yeah. for German right now, and yeah. I'm pretty sure they're they're adding more adding to it, more. yeah. And okay. this is already like pretty deep into German. This isn't just like first level German. Like if you do all of these, you're gonna be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then there's like other areas on the app too. Yeah. So you have the practice arena, yeah. um, where like if you click on it. When addressing like, someone you know well, how would you say you? You just practice yeah. too. Um, vocabulary, like uh, refreshing. And then the last one is just like tracking your progress. So yeah, yeah that's just like, Helpful to know, like how many words have you have you learned yet? Which ones of them were strong? Like it'll be listed here. Which ones you maybe have to go back to to like kind yeah. of repeat? Of course, I have coffee at one hundred percent cafe. <laughs> and they currently have Spanish, Italian, and as you just saw, German on the app. And they're going to be adding new languages in the future. And by the way, for the German program, one of the creators, Peter, has even co-authored the national German exams, and he has over thirty years of experience in language teaching. So. Clio really gives you access to world-class teaching. And as Peter says, Clio is as close as you can get to having a teacher in the classroom giving you feedback, which I feel like lines up with your experience. Too, yeah. Pretty much. So if you want to try Clio yourself, just go to the App Store or use my link in the info box below to download it and get started today. As I said, they currently have German, Italian, and Spanish, but there will be more languages in the future. And also currently, it's only available for iPhone, but the Android version is right around the corner. So if you do want to check it out, but you don't have an iPhone, make sure to keep your eyes open for updates here on YouTube and also on my other social media platforms, because I will let you know as soon as the Android version is out so that you can try it yourself. Now back to you. So what's your plan for this challenge? How are you going to approach it? Okay. I'm looking at like 20 minutes a day. Yeah which that shouldn't be a problem, but if I start yeah. to notice that that's a problem, I'm looking at three to four modules okay. every week. Okay. That'll be my bare minimum. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll definitely be able to see some progress if you actually follow through with that. And of course, you guys are welcome to join in on the challenge as well and use today as your personal start day to improve your German, Italian, or Spanish skills as well. And then we'll show your progress um, here on YouTube in about a month. But I was thinking, and he doesn't even know about this yet, that there should be some kind of goal. So some kind of challenge that you should be able to complete in a month, like for that next YouTube video. And I'm actually gonna need your help for this. So do you guys have any suggestions for what this challenge could be? This could be anything from like being able to pronounce um, a particularly hard sentence or German word or knowing the lyrics to a certain German song or being able to count to a hundred in German or naming all the colors in German or something like that. So just put your suggestions in the comments below and then please go through the other comments as well and give the ones that you like the best a thumbs up and then the one with the most thumbs up votes by next Sunday 
wins. And in case it's something that's not currently part of the German program on Clio, we will actually be adding that to the app because I'm kind of like right at the source. And then if we do add that, then you can use that as well and take part in that challenge as well. My hands are already so. sweating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you that. Um, yeah. But you're pretty competitive, so I honestly think that this is going to be good for you. And of course, there has to be punishment or some kind of consequence when you're not able to finish the challenge at the end of the month. So, I was thinking, I don't, like, there's so much stuff out there for, like, punishments, but I was just thinking, like, maybe you have to eat a really spicy jalapeno or something like that. Oh, I... <laughs> If we're doing a pepper, it's got to be hotter than a okay. jalapeno. Okay, is the chili hotter than a jalapeno? Uh, we What's can do hotter? like a habanero or like okay. a ghost pepper. Because okay. if you, I'm not if we're gonna hold me to something, it's gotta be something. Okay, or I can make you drink something really gross that I mix in front of the camera. Like no, I'd rather with just milk eat milk and pickle juice and. <laughs> no, I'd just rather, I don't like hot spicy food, so <laughs> yeah, you guys would no, have enough was, fun with that. Yeah, he doesn't. He so. can't really handle. You know it. what's gonna happen? What? I'm gonna end up getting all the progress that I yeah. wanted to, and then people are gonna be like, "What happened to eating the pepper?" <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but like if you if you complete the challenge that they're gonna pick, then they're like still you don't gonna have want to... me to eat the pepper, and I'm gonna nah. get. Yeah. No, they're nice. They're nice. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we have a deal. So for the next video, he's gonna complete the challenge that you guys are going to suggest. And with that, I would say, let's get started. Yes, let's do this. Du hast du like the Do hast hunger? No question. Close. Oh, hast du. Ah. <laughs> hey guys, what you doing? Hi, Izzy. <laughs> I am doing a module before I hop online. How's it Eine going? Frage. Eine Frage. Aha, a question. Zeit. 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 There you go. Zeit. <laughs> Did I just hear myself say I am right? Ich habe recht. Yeah. I, I mean, I I couldn't agree more. I can't escape it. How's it going? Uh, not too good. I'm struggling on this one. I have news. Ich habe. Kannst du das sagen? Ich habe Neuigkeiten. Ich habe ich habe Neuigkeiten. You sound awesome. Ich Thanks, habe babe. ein Treffen. <laughs> You're welcome. What you doing, babe? Thanks, One more lesson before bed. <laughs> Tell me good night. Good night. <laughs> How fitting. <laughs> good night. <laughs> uh, but Abba. Genau. How would you say this? Come for for for. Not sure going. Be better. Be <laughs> I got all of them. Let's go. I'm getting a little bit better. <laughs> okay, so we're five days in, and I think you, as you can see, we're seeing some progress here. But we'll show you the full progress of the first month in the YouTube video next month on YouTube. Until then, make sure to follow me on Instagram, and if you're not on Instagram, on Facebook, because I'll be showing some behind the scenes stuff of our lives, but especially of Ben's language learning journey on there. Of course, you can download Clio yourself on the App Store or just through the link in the info box below to start learning Spanish, Italian, or German today. And um, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. You'll have a lot to do now for yes. the next video. Yes. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Um, leave a comment for the challenge, of course. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you, what? <laughs> I was gonna say, if y'all have any tips, yeah. let me know. Yeah, please. That'd be a great help. And if you want to support my channel even beyond just subscribing, you can do so by joining the Patreon family. You can hit that super thanks button underneath the video or buy me a drink on buymeacoffee.com. With that, thank you guys, and we will see you next time. Cheers. Right. Cheers. <laughs>